Hi, you're probably in this video because you want to apply for yourself, you don't know where to start. So I am Simkifti, I'm going to assist you on how to apply in University of Johannesburg or they say at the University of Johannesburg, I don't know which one is correct, but as long as we're here to do what we do. So um, if you're new, please make sure that you smash the subscribe button and you like this video and also share to your friends so they share to their friends and they all know how to apply for themselves. What you're going to need is just your cell phone and data connection. Make sure that your internet connection is stable. And also all the documents that are required, I'm going to list them so that you know um, and you are ready to apply at the University of Johannesburg. What I'm going to need you to do is just like flip your phone. Is it flip, tilt? Just so like, like, it just needs to be like this. When you when you watch him, you're just gonna hold it like you're having a conversation because you're going to watch the application from my screen on your screen. Do you understand? So I, I don't want to be looking like this, or I don't want the application to be looking like this level. <laughs> so just make sure that you hold your phone. So just tilt your phone it's either to the left or either to the right. I don't know, but it will be it will depend on the edit that I make on this video so please make sure that you stay tuned and subscribe 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 so without any further ado let's do what we're here to do ah that's a new song without without further ado let's do what we're here to do without born let's go to the application <laughs> so to make things quick and simple for you you're just going to type uj or the university of johannesburg on your chrome on your google chrome app then this is what you're going to come across then you're going to click the apply now section then after that there's this orange banner do you see one two three on number four they say apply now you click the then after that you scroll then if you're a new applicant you're going to click on apply here in this case it's a new applicant then if you do not have the uj student number you're going to say no you don't have the student number and if you're returning if you applied but you didn't finish applying you're just going to say yes but if you still if you're new like completely new to this application portal you're just going to say no then after that um they will say uh read and accept the poppy act so uh, POPI is like um, the Protection of Personal Information Act. So you're going to accept that. And then after that, you say next. Then as, after saying next, they're going to ask you like a lot of questions. They're going to say, are you a South African citizen? If you are, you're going to give them your ID number. Then after giving them your ID number, you go straight to giving them your gender. In this case, I'm applying for a female. Then if you want to give them your date of birth, you're just going to click on this um, icon, this calendar icon. Then after getting this calendar icon, you're just going to select um, if you are born on, the, on March on the 10th, then you're going to click um, here. It's 2000 and the person that I'm applying for is a 2004 then after that their title okay if you're not married you're just going to select M-I-S-S miss then the initials your initials are basically the first letters of your names okay so it's gonna be A-Z because her first name is Ayanda her second name is Z like she has another second name so then you you like wherever you see this red asterisk this star it means that that section is compulsory you need to fill that section you must fill it it's compulsory for you to fill it up then you finish like you finish you fill this whole form up your marital status you select your single if you are not married then your home language you select your home language here there's just zulu Kosa, venda and so on and so on then your ethnic group you select if you are an african you can state that you're an african if you're colored if you're indian or you can just state other if you do not want to just um disclose then after that you have your street address so you're just gonna write here you're gonna write the name of your street um right here the name of your suburb where you live this part here doesn't have a star it's not compulsory even the province is not compulsory but if you do have the energy you can just fill them up then your postal code 
when you're looking for the postal code you click on this banner then after that they have these postal codes then if you know your postal code let's say it's 1054 it's just going to say 1054 then you click the percentage again then you click on search then after that they give you a salons river then you click on this number 1054 then this is how you get your past your, your postal code then this is your uh contact information they just ask you the basic questions then you answer you you fill in your cell phone number that you're going to use for correspondence that they're going to use for correspondence and then your email you verify it verifying means you type it again then your residence information like if you want to apply for residence in the university the resident that is within the university campuses it's either you click yes or you click no then if you do not have a disability you do not click on this box but if you do have a disability or impairment you do click on this box then you click on save and continue so after clicking the save and continue button you will be directed into the second stage of the application so here you're going to fill in your next of kin details it could be your mom your brother your sister your grandmother your spouse it could be anyone like that is close to you these are the people that could be called in case of an, an emergency then your account contact detail could be your guardian it could be your mom it could be your dad it could be your aunt then you put on their names as they appear in their id then their contact address information you're going to put on the address the postal address and so on then remember when it comes to the postal code you click on this icon then after clicking on this icon it will show you like how to select like we did on the first stage of the application then on the email address part you fill in their email if they do not have an email because it's compulsory you can put in your email it's not a crime then you're going to click on save and continue to go to the third step now this is the third step of your application they will want your results details so i'm applying for a first time applicant they're going to want the metric year the year that you are in metric her metric year is 2023 she's currently in metric then here undergraduate or postgraduate you're going to apply undergraduate you're still a new applicant fresh from high school right and you haven't finished any degree that you want to continue so you could just going to say undergraduate do not apply for a postgraduate if you are still in high school or if you are not furthering a degree or a diploma okay so are you upgrading no you are not upgrading but if you are upgrading you're just going to say yes then if you are completing your international metric there's an option to choose here but this one is south african just going to say sa metric then after that indicate your endorsement that is nsc you're going to click on this banner on this magnifying glass banner or you can just say icon you're going to say currently in grade 12 and um, then after that here you just you just click on this banner your school living subject you click on the banner then you're going to check okay if you are doing geography or if you're going to do if you are doing english first additional language you click here then your grade is the mark that you got in your grade um in your nsc final grade 11 then your final grade 11 symbol you're going to choose the percentage that you got in your report okay so in this case um it's a 70 percent then after that you click on add subject then you are going to to repeat this for each and every subject that you have you select the first one is you select your school living subject it's either agricultural sciences geography english spady ndebele zulu home language anything then your grade it's nsc then your final grade 11 symbol you choose your percentage the percentage that you have got in grade 11 then after that this will be shown you see it will show that okay um this is what i have then after that 
there should be seven it should be seven subjects if you're doing seven subjects then after that you're going to click on save and continue to the next step okay on the fourth application step if i'm not mistaken you're going to um see something like this here they want your school details as you usually should do is to just click on this magnifying glass thingy then you search for your school then you get it you click on your school like then what are you currently doing obviously if you're grade 12 you're just going to select grade 12 pupil then after that um you're going to click on save and continue to be on the fifth step after finishing the fourth step you're on the fifth step they say eligible qualifications so you're going to determine which qualifications you qualify for which courses you qualify for by clicking on determine eligibilities then after that you're going to choose you're going to make your choices as to which qualification you want to apply for using this determine eligibilities button just make sure that you click on this button so after clicking on that button you'll be redirected into this website where you will be able to choose the qualifications so um you're going to choose here your academic year obviously it's going to be 2024 because you're applying for 2024 then are you applying for a curricular course or a continuing education program or a shared learning program it's a curricular course let's go back a curricular course is an undergraduate full-time on-campus qualification that you can do for three years four years five years and so on then after that you click on this icon in order for you to be able to select a faculty if you want to do education you can just select education if you want to do maybe nursing you can select on health sciences then on choose program you do the same thing select selecting using this magnifying glass thing going on and then if you are eligible to apply if you qualify if you do not qualify they're going to say no that n stands for no is it eligible to apply no the bachelor of radiation therapy this person doesn't qualify for the bachelor of radiation therapy however for bachelor of health sciences uh chiropractic they are eligible to apply they say yes which means you are eligible to apply for that course so if you if it says no and then you you continue you just take it just know that you're taking the risk of being rejected by the university of johannesburg a lot of people just choose without like checking that like whether they apply or not they, they qualify or not so please make sure that you qualify you choose a course that aligns with you and you qualify for so after choosing the program that you want, in this case we chose that Bachelor of, Science, of Health Sciences, uh, what what, then for which year of study are you applying? You click here, it's first year if you're still in metro obviously, it's first year or even if you're taking a year, you're going to be doing your first year. Okay, then all this will be filled, then after that you say add qualification, then after adding qualification, it's going to appear here you see it's gonna appear here and academic year 2024 and are you to, eligible to apply yes then you add your second choice by doing the the the, the, the similar step again you do the, that step again your academic year 2024 and then are you applying for the curricular course then after that you choose that then you select a faculty that you want to go to in this case let's say uh, they now want to go to, to the faculty of humanities and then they're gonna choose programs that they qualify for you see like th they are eligible for all these programs so they can just choose any of this program then after that we move on to the next step they will add the qualification you're you're eligible to add up to two qualifications like then after that you continue with the application so let's do this and then we'll continue with the application okay then after being done with the choosing of programs you're going to be um directed into this website where they show you the summary 
where you confirm that okay my application is this one and this is what they show so just go down there because obviously i don't want to show the id numbers of another person then after that if you are sure that everything is verified you're just going to click continue then after that you're going to create your pin number that you're not going to forget write it down then um you you're going to accept the agreement then after that you will click on submit application there's gonna be an option for you to submit application let me create a pin number quickly for this person so the pin number that I'm, i can use um, so this is the pin number that i'm using for this person then i wrote it down then if it does not okay if it does not allow to submit an application what i'm gonna do is this i'm gonna accept again then now it will allow me to submit um the application then after that it's confirmation that okay your academic application has been uh, has been um has been submitted then after that do you have electronic copies of the certificates to upload if you do have your scanned id your scanned report or your scanned results everything you can just select yes then they will give you an option for you to be able to submit them you're going to say yes then you click on next then after that certification details then you're going to say complete upload then you're going to upload all those documents that are needed then after that you submit you are done with your application in the university of johannesburg you will receive an sms and an email confirming your applications then after that you are going to apply for residence they like after that they're gonna direct you to the residence like form application the application form of residence then after that you, you apply for the residences then after you are done everything is cool you just wait for your status to be confirmed by the university then you keep it moving and i will see you on the next video where i help you to apply in other universities so please stay tuned um click the subscribe button and let's just continue making the waves thank you so much see you on the next video